Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So in this example, we have one set G, which is a subset of set of complex numbers and we have to represent it in a complex plane. So G is a set of all complex numbers which satisfy this condition. So we will start the problem with that condition. Okay. See what we have. Let me write. We have real part of Z upon mod z minus 1 greater than 1 getting so here we have an inequality but we will solve this problem with this inequality then it will be little bit difficult to solve so for that i'm going to replace first that inequality by equality so therefore the region is bounded by is bounded by see the region that means that expected region right so region is bounded by real part of z upon mod z minus 1 greater than 1. So let us shift mod z minus sorry is equal to 1. We are replacing inequality by equality. So see let us shift that mod z minus 1 on that side. So therefore real part of z is equal to mod z minus 1. So will you guess my next step? So when we have such cases when we solve such problems we replace z by its Cartesian form, which is x plus i y. So let me replace z by x plus i y. Therefore, real part of x plus i y is equal to mod x plus i y minus 1. See what is real part of x plus i y? Obviously, it is x. Shall we collect real part? So the real part is x minus 1, okay, and imaginary part is y. So we have some space, let us use, okay. So therefore x is equal to, I'm going to use the definition of mod, which is square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. So this is real part. I should write x minus one square imaginary part is y. So it will be y square. So now removes to remove square root. I will take square of both sides. So therefore x square and x minus 1 square plus y square. So tell me now what we should do. To simplify it further, I will expand this bracket. So we have a minus b bracket square formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. Let us use it to expand x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square. So now x square x square we can easily cancel minus 2x plus 1 plus y square. So let us keep y square on another side and let us shift minus 2x plus 1 in left left hand side. So it will be plus and that one will be minus y square. We can clearly observe here the power of y is 2 and the power of x is 1. So when we have such equation where the well, uh, power of one variable is 2 and power of second variable is 1, it means it's a parabola. Getting So actually there are four standard parabolas. So let me show here. The parabola which opens in the direction of positive x-axis opens in the direction of negative x-axis. One parabola opens in upward direction and one in downward direction. So these are standard four parabolas. Here, the power of x is 1. That means the parabola opens in the direction of x-axis. So that parabola can be like this or parabola can be like this. Getting? But x has positive value. Getting? So a multiple of x is positive. So that's why the parabola opens in the direction of positive x-axis. That means parabola will be like this. So let me clearly mention here. This is the uh, this parabola. Let me mention this parabola opens in the direction of positive x axis. The parabola opens in the direction of positive x axis, right? But see, this is not a standard equation of parabola. So let me show you what is the standard equation. X is equal to y square. So we have something 2x and minus 1 is also there. So it's not a standard equation of parabola. So that parabola is slightly shifted somewhere. So let us find. Okay. So let us find its vertex. So what will I do? 
I'm going to put y is equal to zero. Okay, so let me right here putting putting y is equal to zero. So let us see what will you get if you put y is equal to zero here. Two x minus one is equal to zero. Shift one on that side. Two x is equal to one. So x will be one by two. It means the parabola passes through. Therefore, the parabola passes through. Passes through. See the point will be passes through. The point will be x is half and the y is zero. X is half. Y zero. So the parabola passes through one by two comma zero. Let me draw the parabola. Just make a screenshot of it first. So let us draw the parabola. Getting the parabola passes through one by two comma zero. So it will be here, and it opens in the direction of positive x-axis. So the parabola will be like this. Getting so such parabola we have. I have drawn the rough sketch. So actually this parabola cuts the entire complex plane in two parts. The first part, which lie, which is bounded by this parabola, which lies inside a parabola, and the second part, which lies outside a parabola. See, in a given example, they have not given equality; they have mentioned inequality. That means the given inequality either represents the region inside a parabola or region outside a parabola. So, in that case, any student easily confused can easily confuse that which region we have to take inside a parabola or outside a parabola. So, there is one simple technique for that. Getting. So, what will I do? I will take any point inside this parabola. Suppose I am taking that two comma zero. That means the complex number is z is equal to two plus zero i. I have chosen one point. Getting inside this parabola, and I will check that. Complex number satisfies that condition or not? If this point satisfies the condition, it it means the region inside a parabola. And if this point does not satisfy the condition, then we will say the region outside a parabola. Getting? See, uh, let us put it there. So what will we have? Real part of z upon mod z minus one, which is I am putting it there. Real part of two and mod two minus one. So it is two by one, which is two, and two is clearly greater than one. That means the condition is satisfied. It means this point lies in a expected region. That means this region bounded by this parabola is a given region. So let me uh, hi highlight this region. Okay. So I have shown the region here, right? So therefore, shaded region represents the given set G. In a complex plane. Okay, so the example is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.